Hi guys, it's Femi here. Today is Saturday, May 1st. I just had an end time storm. Um, I wasn't... I don't remember what the first country was. I was like, I was just went to different countries and I was just preaching the gospel. Like I was hovering over cities and I was saying, Repent! Believe the gospel. Jesus is coming soon. Jesus loves you. Repent. He's coming soon. Time is running out. Call on his name for salvation. Repent. Jesus loves you. His name is Jesus. Yahushua Hamashiach. He, he loves you so much. I was just preaching, 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 and it was like this powerful preaching, and I was like pleading with them, like in my in my preaching, as I was preaching, I could, I I felt this huge sense of compassion as I was preaching to them, pleading with them, and some some of them were just looking at me like, what is this person talking about? Who is Jesus? Why should we serve Jesus? Why should we repent? Some of them wanted to like. Seemed like they wanted to fight me or throw me away from the city. The whole thing was strange because as I was flying over them, I had like lowered down to their <laughs> ground level and I was pleading with them. Just and they were just going about their their daily activities like somewhere like I could remember they were, they were doing some transactions like buying groceries like milk and stuff. Some of them and some of them were like trying to catch a train, like the whole thing, trying to catch a, a train, some of them are trying to catch a boat to cross over to another city, and I was just going from <laughs> various people randomly, just preaching that the whole nation should repent, Jesus is coming soon, that he's real, he loves them, and even while I was preaching this, I was trying to figure out what country I was in, because when I saw that they were buying things, I was looking, I was trying to look at the products and I would see what was on it. Like, if they are buying, if, if they are buying like cotton, I would see like the cotton on the product, but I couldn't see. Uh, I saw the products were like one country was in English, but another one was not English, so I don't know. I don't know, but I just remember the last one was Indonesia. I don't even know how I knew that because it's not like I speak their language or anything. No. But in the dream, I just knew that that was Indonesia as soon as I was in the country and I was preaching the same thing. I don't know if I was probably speaking in their language, but in my mind it was English I was speaking. No. But maybe I was speaking in their language, but they understood me regardless. And I was telling them, repent, call on the only name given under heaven whereby we must be saved. His name is Jesus Christ, Yahushua HaMashiach. Jesus loves you. He loves you. He died for you. He's coming soon. Repent, repent. So, as honestly, like all the countries, like nobody really answered me. They're not really, they just looked at me strangely. Some looked at me curiously. Some wanted to fight me, like get out of our city. Some wanted to physically throw me away, but they, they couldn't physically do anything to me. And I couldn't control, like, I could feel the hand of God, like, taking me to all these countries. But I couldn't control me, like, my movement, flying over them or anything. And I couldn't control the message. So I just preaching, like, they were just this burning in my heart. And I was pleading with them because I knew what they would face if they did not repent. I knew what was coming. So, because it was this was a very it was very intense like the urgency i can't even explain it like i i was pleading with them to repent as if they were my own family like i don't know like i just love them like i love them so much i wanted them to know the truth like they need to repent and believe the gospel that jesus loves them he died for them on the cross of calvary he's god he came into the world he died for them all these things I was telling them, telling them about God's love and everything. The most important part of it all that I remember is that 
when I was in, in after I finished preaching to the Indonesians, wow. As soon as I finished preaching, the sky suddenly opened. The sky suddenly opened. And I saw, I, I saw like, I feel like they were the dead in Christ. I don't know, but I don't know though. But I just saw these thousands of people coming with Jesus on the clouds. And I think there were also angels around them. But Jesus was the first one and he was just... This heavenly choir was singing and they were harmonizing this powerful song. I cannot even remember the song anymore because the song was so beautiful that I said that there is no way I will. Because you know, I was conscious in my dream that I'm having a dream. I said, Oh, I have to remember this song. It's, it was very strange. And I was like, Wow, Jesus is here already. Like, this guy is just open and he just came and he was. He was with a white horse. And there were other people around him. Like they were humans. But they were wearing like. um, They were wearing like. Jerusalem clothes. That's why I was baffled. Like, They just look like Old Testament people. I don't even know how I just. That's what I thought to myself when I saw them. The way they dress. You know like. You know, you know like when you're watching. This popular. Um, um, Jesus of Nazareth movies or um, um, Jesus in the manger like how the people of Jerusalem dressed in those days that's how that's what they were wearing so that's why I just I don't know who they were sure, but they were just all in the clouds and they were coming with Jesus and they were just coming boom, boom, as the, the angels were singing they were just singing this powerful this powerful heavenly song and there was drumming there was orchestra and the clouds just the clouds they just separated like they just divided in the middle like vroom, vroom, vroom. they just gave way basically and i just saw jesus and these other people coming with him and i was just baffled i was like what but what i just thought to myself is like jesus is here already like there's no more time like that's like he's here like these people refuse to repent and Jesus is here like and what I just feel is like it was as if he was already here but he was not revealed or so because he just came instantly as soon as I just said repent like the last repent repent word last word of repent I said he this guy just opened boom, boom just music instantly boom, boom with heavenly voices this powerful boom like orchestra the harmonizing it was so my ear like it wasn't i can't even explain it guys like the thing resounded in my ear my whole spirit being
resounded in my ear in my whole spirit being I could not take my eyes off her and all the people on, on the on the, in the city on the ground on earth were looking up by that time it was too late because Jesus uh, I woke up by the time I woke up Jesus had literally like come close like to the earth you know it was coming down it was like descending but this is the first time that I've ever had a, a dream where I've seen Jesus with a white horse so I've never actually seen him with a white horse and I, the whole thing is just what just is in my spirit is that Jesus is really coming soon like that's just the bottom line like get your houses in order like tell as many people as you can do the ministry of the Lord for your life because there's literally no more time you know we we the saints were walking by the spirit so we know spiritually speaking that his nearness is very soon because he's given us the times and seasons nobody knows the day or hour but as we see world events unfolding and prophetic events um, being fulfilled we know that the next event is the rapture so it's like you have to be ready for his return you know any day any time the trumpet can sound and the shout can be given but i can't even describe the heat the urgency that i needed to like trumpet this message like just shout pleading with them repent jesus is coming soon he loves you so much repent repent and not one single person repented oh, in my dream that was shocking to me no matter how much i i was like almost begging them pleading ah <sighs> that was very intense so that's why i'm calling this an end time dream because i can't i'm i'm i don't know i don't think it was a rapture dream because um the the people i saw in the sky with jesus they were wearing jerusalem clothes but i don't know honestly i don't even know i don't know i don't even know man i really don't even know that was very strange And the way they were coming with Jesus, like they were, they were like some of them were horses, but some of them were walking on the clouds. It was very, it was, it was a whole like the thing was mind blowing. It's just, I just wonder who they were, and I could see. And of course, in the clouds, they were all giants, like they were huge, right? They were giants, all these people. As they were walking, uh, coming with Jesus, but Jesus was at the front. He was riding a horse, a white horse. Then when he got close to the earth, he got off the white horse. And that was when I woke up, when he got close to the earth. And I, and I woke up. And me, I was trying to touch another part I remember. I was like, I was like, because I was conscious in my dream, I'm like, okay, while this is happening, why am I hovering in the air? Why am I in the air? I was like, I'm not trying to feel the hand of God holding me in the air, but I couldn't. When I when I tried, tried to start touching my 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 back to feel what was, like the hand of God holding me was when I woke up. Like it's like because in these dreams, like I can't turn because I can't control my body. Like when the hand of God is taking me um to different scenes or different locations or whatever in the dream or in the vision i can't turn to the left or to the right i only always go straight forward whether either i'm in the air or i'm on the ground it's straight forward no turning to the left or to the right and when i wake up like it's always a reminder to me that the narrow path like you can't turn to the left or to the right you just look straight but i just find that fascinating though but that's just the urgency and the funny thing is that was it a couple of weeks ago i had a, a dream where i had a similar similar message similar urgency repent jesus comes back i think in that one i said the message that i said was 
repent prepare your heart jesus is coming soon this one i was just this one I, his his hebrew name was included like it just came out of me in my spirit in the dream i see he called on his name cry out to, cry out cry out to him repent call on his name for salvation he loves you and i was really emphasizing that he loves you he died for you call on his name his name the only name given under heaven to be saved his name is Jesus, Yahushua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ. So, uh, just pleading with them. So, I just know that our redemption is very soon. I don't know how soon, but just be encouraged and to continue, continue to look up and know your redemption draws nigh. Alright, bye. God bless you all. Love you all.